While breaking down a pond from a backyard, I found five salamanders still in hibernation. I temporarily put them in a small box with some moss to keep the humidity high. They were slowly waking up, but there wasn't a suitable place nearby to release them. So I decided to take them home with me, take care of them for a few days and release them back in the wild in a suitable location. Back home I prepared their setup. I had to make a paludarium, which is an enclosure with both land and water parts. I already had all the necessities laying around. I used this container with some driftwood and stones to make the slope for the land part. I filled the tank with bottled mineral water to be sure the water was clean. I rearranged everything to make sure the stones and the driftwood were secure. I covered the stones with the moss on which they could hang out. So guys this is the temporary setup I've come up with. So as you can see here's a layer of rocks with some moss on top. And yeah I had to do it like this because otherwise the filter wouldn't work. So here they are, they're a little bit hidden. But let's see, just gently, here they are, just going to take, I washed my hands, so, you just gently take one, just place him in his new little environment, ain't that nice, here another one, just very gently, As you guys can see, I changed it a little bit. I filled it up with like the double amount of water. So now the filter actually works properly and it's straight. And they still have a small bit here if they want to go on land. So I think this is way better. Here's one, two, three, four and five. That's all of them. You can also put the filter a little less if I want because well yeah it makes a lot of sound that something in between will be perfect I think I've had them for about two days now and I bought some small crickets and I'm going to try to feed them so let's take one here's one which is already dead which makes it a little easier oh he does not really seem interested. Yeah, I don't think he's hungry. Oh yeah, he ate it. Would you look at that? Okay, awesome. Try that one again. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so there under the moss there's one. I'm going to try to lure him out. The cricket, the cricket. And there we go. Got it. Pretty big one. But he swallowed it. <laughs> well, they actually have lungs to breathe. 
So they breathe with their lungs and with their skin. Yes, there's a second for that one. Yeah, that's it. As you can see, they also got a smaller one to eat. It's already the second cricket he or she has eaten. I decided to release them back into the wild after one and a half weeks of keeping them in this setup. The weather was quite nice for the past week, so it definitely wouldn't be too cold for them. I fed them several times to give them a head start on their journey. I found the perfect place for them, a little creek where I have already spotted salamanders before so I know they can survive here, they have plenty of hiding places, there are a lot of insects to eat and it's connected to a larger pond so it never gets dry, which is very important. This was a fun little project I enjoyed very much and I encourage everyone to do the same if you ever come across a situation similar to this. Don't just leave an animal to die if its environment is destroyed, but go set them free in another suitable location. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.